So since you guys asked for it, I'm gonna show you how to make your own Citra build. Um, you just need three programs, first of which is Visual Studio. Uh, the community build is okay, just uh, make sure to install the C++ um, components. Um, CMake, just download it here, the 32-bit version, install that. And then you're gonna need a git uh, client. <coughs> then what we want to do is uh, clone Citra. So we're gonna go here, clone. And then we need the um, GitHub link. So we just copy that, paste it in there. And then as you can see, it will save to our user and Citra. Make sure it's called Citra, that's important. And then just press clone. Then we wait for it to finish cloning. The next we want to um, compile the, the clone with um, CMake. Just go into your terminal, open up uh, Citra, open that up with Explorer. So just type in Explorer and then dot for the current uh, folder. So then, as you can see, I already have a build folder, but just create a build folder in here. Then we're gonna open up CMake, select the, the Citra folder. So that is under Windows, Users, your username and then Citra, select that folder and then where it should uh, compile, uh, save the compiled stuff. So we're just gonna save it in a build folder. So we're gonna go to PC, Windows, Users, your username, then Citra and select the build folder. <laughs> Then you, you want to uh, go to configure, make sure you have this selected, Visual Studio 14, 2015, uh, press finish. And this uh, error will show up, so what you want to do to fix that is uh, select these uh, Citra components and press generate. It's gonna download the Citra components and compile the Visual Studio files for us. So once that's done, just go into the build folder, open up the Citra project file with Visual Studio, then right click on Citra Qt, set it as a startup project. Make sure to select release here. And then just go to build and rebuild solution. And then we just wait for it to compile. Uh, once it's done compiling, just go to the, uh, it will create a bin folder here, just go into that, release, and then you can open up, uh, open up Citra um, Qt. So that's your Citra build, so let's try it. Uh, open up Pokemon, and as you can see, it's broken. Oh no, we made something wrong. No, you didn't. We just need a user folder with the right files in it. Link is in the description. Just drag that in here. And then um, open up Pokemon, for example, to try it. And there we go. As you can see, everything is kind of <laughs> kind of speeded up, and 
we don't have a cheats options we we can't uh, we can't restrict the frame rate we we can't use a controller as you can see I, I can press all I want on my controller and nothing happens so how do we how do we fix that so the thing is that isn't a part of the the Citra build right now people already uh, pro programmed that on the on the Citra uh, repository but uh, it's only a pull request so we want to include these pull requests on uh, in our in our clone of Citra so what you want to do for that is go to git kraken um, go to pull requests and then we have here a pull request for for the cheat uh, module so what we want to do to get that is um, add this user as a remote and then we can see all his branches and then we want to merge his branch to our clone so we're gonna press right click press merge into master click that then often it has some conflicts so we're just gonna resolve those as you can see uh, it thinks uh, it's, it needs to overwrite that so we need both function of this so we're just gonna select both save that and then uh, commit merge so that's that now we had a cheat uh, the cheat module what we want next is the, the controller support that is this uh, thing right here the input core just right click merge that um, has two conflicts we only need that save that we need both of those save that and then commit a merge so we added cheat support uh, controller support um, now the only thing we might need is uh, the, the, the frame restriction so let's add that real quick where is it frame limiter there it is so add that add this user as a remote again wait for it to pull can take a while so there it is um, see as you can see here's a lot of branches we don't know which one is the right one for example then we can just look here in the in the timeline where it is i believe it is maybe down here let's see frame limit oh there it is is it that yeah then just drag and drop that into our master merge merge successful now we added the frame limiter now that we added all that um let's say we are we're fine with all the changes um we're just gonna need to close uh, visual studio again generate open up visual studio the project and then just rebuild and check out the changes when it's done so it's done so let's check out the build we made Citra as you can see we have the cheats, uh, the cheats uh, options now let's 
try it on Pokemon. As you can see, the, the frame rate is normal now. Uh, we can open up the cheats window. We can go to uh, frame limit here. Check that. That also works. And input. As you can see, I can input all of the things with my controller, so that also works. Thanks for watching.